Hi, I'm Susan Julie Gonzalez and I am a photographer. I am a photographer of trees. I have been photographing trees for 23 years. I actually found my first camera in the street, a little Instamatic at a Kodak X15 in front of my house when I was 13 years old. So I fell in love with photography early on. The trees have become the love of my life. I started photographing the trees after a 13 year absence of photography. I had lost my photography equipment, all my photographs. There might be one or two photographs left from that period, pre-trees. But it took about 13 years to get another camera. And at that time, I had gone with my brother to Cloverdale, where he was looking at some property. He was moving from New York to California. I was walking around the property that he was looking to move into. And it was at that time that I found my very first tree creature. I call them Creaturas Aboreas, tree creatures. This particular image that I found there was a fetus. As life begins in the womb, this life of this image of the tree that is the fetus started this collection. When I realized what I had there, I'm like, oh wow, this is great. And next thing I knew, I had three images of trees and then five images and the collection continued to grow to today, I have over a hundred finished matted and framed, ready to exhibit images of trees and also thousands of negatives and also digital images. The last few years, I have been doing both digital and film photography. I still love being in the dark room and doing silver gelatin images. It's a fabulous technique. There's nothing like being in the dark room and watching the magic appear as the transformation happens from a blank sheet to a beautiful image. The work has been very inspiring for me. It's touched my heart in such a way that I can at times pick up the images and dance with them. And the trees range from Washington State all the way down to Baja, California, into Mexico. I've got trees from Hawaii, the Southwest, into New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, the South, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Missouri. I have some from the East Coast also, some trees from Paris, from France when I visited there. So the trees are calling me. They're calling all of us. We really don't see them. We see these beautiful green trees, but we don't really understand how important they are for our well-being. One mature tree in its leafy season provides oxygen for 10 people. My goal and my aspiration is to show the work to the world. What I have found is that people may not see the trees the same again. I always have a warning with every exhibit that I have. Warning, you may never see trees the same again. I've had people tell me that they have gone into the forest and they no longer just enjoy being in the forest and looking at the trees. They have a sense now that the trees are looking back at them. When we walk on a trail, we think about, oh, we're gonna walk on this beautiful trail and we're gonna enjoy what we're seeing. And I have this idea that as we're walking on the trail, the trees are clapping and saying, oh good, what are we gonna have now? Are we gonna have a comedy? Or are we gonna have a drama today? As they see, as they feel the vibration of the humans on the trail. And so we're emitting a vibrational tone that is being shared with everything around us. I believe that as we become more and more aware of how interconnected we are, not only with each other, but with nature itself, and how important it is to honor nature, to honor what we have. There's so many changes happening in our world today, whether it's deforestation, whether it's the pollution in our water, in our oceans, in our rivers. My goal is to have the viewer see trees differently. There's an anthropomorphic element to my work and at the same time, the trees are alive. Once the tree is cut, the spirit of that tree leaves. Just like when we leave the planet, when our spirit is no longer in our body temple, that it leaves. And so honoring the spirit of all life, whether it's trees, animals, humans, each other, that we're all in this thing together. We're breathing this breath of life that these beautiful creatures, these trees give us. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I hope you enjoy the work and enjoy the trees. <laughs> Thank you.